everyone, and welcome to the Walking in Your Destiny Gospel Radio Show with your host, um, Dr. Shauna Whitehead Starks. And you all, we have a spe- a wonderful show planned for you with my special guest, your friend, my friend. Yes, honey, she's a friend to the show. She has been on a couple of other times with her other book, but now she's on with her new book, y'all. Yes, I'm so excited, Miss Lanice McGee. Yes, so we're going to welcome her to the show. But before I have her talk, you all heard this book here. Listen here. We're going to be giving away two books today to bless you all. But y'all, y'all need to get this book. This book is life changing. It's called Seven Day Journey to Discovering Your Purpose. God's Vision, My Hands, Partnership with the Divine. Y'all, this book has changed my life. I've talked about it today on my Um, inspirational Mondays. I gave a quote about disciplining your thoughts with scriptures, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about my friend, Miss Lanice. Okay, Lanice is grateful for the opportunity to serve individuals during the time of transition. It's not long before she recognized she was born to lead, and so knowing she pursued her bachelor's in art and Scientology from Frisk University in Nashville, Tennessee, and continues on the road by obtaining a master's of science in the field of human services from Springfield College. Expanding her 17 years of work experience, Lanice currently serves as the director, I mean, district director for the Department of Workforce Development at the WOW Waukesha and Saki and Waukesha County District. She looks at the career as an opportunity to support others, both staff and customers, as, as they discover their goals and purpose to work. Being a servant leader does not stop in the office. Lanice also is the co-founder of Big, Beautiful, and Blessed. This agency is committed to cultivating a positive self and body image in all women through um, their annual 12th month calendar, which I have hanging on my wall. (laughs) And they focus on the beauty of a woman with all curves, amen, uh, with a size 12 and up. Lanice is involved in so many other community programs. You'll find out more by viewing her personal website at www.lanicemcgee.com. Lanice is also a speaker, I mean, author, a speaker, a servant leader. Her um, personal belief is not just um, about creating a name, but creating an impact. Okay, living life to um to reach others. So y'all, let's welcome my friend, Miss Lenny. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited. Yes, yes, it's you an should honor. Be. You should be. Thank I love you. you. <laughs> <laughs> so Lenny, now tell us how did the book come about? Okay, thank you. So um. Ooh, actually, God had placed um, this book on my heart four years ago. Mm-hmm. And um, originally, um, I wanted to do the book. Um, the book was always focused around finding your purpose. Mm-hmm. And those that know me um, know that I love to help entrepreneurs. Mm-hmm. And so I originally wanted to write a book about helping entrepreneurs find their purpose um, in their business. But through God and mm-hmm. how does he want him them to run their business and so this was four years ago and I wrote I had a big packet of all these scriptures and all that kind of stuff and what I want to do and so um, what ended up happening was a friend invited me to um, join this author lab mm-hmm. which is um, ran by talk consulting um, led by Jolanda Rogers oh, okay. um, yeah. and it's a 90 days to complete your, your book mm-hmm. And I hadn't really thought about at the time doing my book. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, you know, when you think about something, you kind of put it on the back burner. Mm-hmm. And it was on the back burner. But I was like, you know what? <laughs> I need some accountability. Right. So I'm going to do this. And so as I began to work on a book that God placed in my heart four years ago, what he said to me clearly was, um, you want to help them find their purpose in business, but I want them to help. I want you to help them find their purpose in me. Ooh. And um, that was really powerful to me. I was like, oh, okay, God. Because he's like, if they find that purpose in me, they'll find their purpose in all things. Yes. Because if that business leaves, if that husband leaves, or if you as a point. child, whatever, Come your on. purpose will always go on. Because when you find your foundation in me, I will speak and I will tell you how to live and direct your life. Mm-hmm. And so 
um, I had the foundation already. So the principles of what I had was already kind of set out. And um, so that's kind of how the book got started. And I just want to share a scripture. Deuter yes. Deuteronomy um, 5, um, 8 and 9 says, you must not make yourself an idol of any kind of image or anything in the heavens or earth or in the sea. Um, God is a jealous God. Yes, he yes. wants to be the only thing <laughs> that you put above him. And so he doesn't want us to make an idol of our job, of mm -hmm. our business, of anything. And so um, when he gave me this, God's vision, our hands, because he uses our hands in the land, Please. you know, so whether he's going to use your hands in business, whether he's going to use your hands in ministry, whether he's going to use your hands to your fa family, he has a purpose for you. Mm -hmm. And once we understand who we are in him, mm -hmm. we can move forward. And so that's kind of God gave me this four years ago. And so now it's the manifestation is what you see here today. Y'all listen here. Walking in Your Destiny will be, a, that's the radio show, will be giving away two free books, okay? Mm -hmm. So you guys got to stay tuned. I'm going to um, show you how to get the free books because we want to bless you. And with that, after the 14 days, uh, Miss Lanise has another gift for y'all. I'm looking for my little thing, where that, um, that you will receive in the mail. Once, once, after your 14 days, once you receive the book, okay? So... I'm excited about what God is going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm excited about this radio show because we're going to chime in in some of the um, about the book where you guys will see why I am so excited about it because I read it and I'm talking about I had to use it today on the inspirational Monday um, because it I mean yeah inspirational Monday because it's it's just a lot that God is giving you that that and because He loves us so much He wants to make sure that we can walk into our purpose. Yes. Amen. Sunday, can you show the comments, please, on the screen? Thank you. Um, so, okay, so let's get on in. Yeah. <laughs> that is true, and I just want to comment. God does love us. He loves us so much, and he doesn't want us um, not to know what he created us. Mm -hmm. for. And, you know, I think about the billboard that we've seen that said, um, you're looking for a sign? Mm -hmm. This is it. Mm -hmm. And what God put on my heart today, he said, you're looking for a sign? I'm it. That's right. He's it, and he wants to remind us today that he is the ultimate sign yes. that we need. You were created on purpose, with a purpose, for his purpose. Right. And he doesn't want to withhold any good thing from you. Amen. Amen. So, and that's good that you said that. Sometimes we have to be reminded, because sometimes you can look at what it looks like and mm -hmm. things that don't always look like. You right. know, you're going to soar, you're going to make it, but God it has to remind us that he yes. is what it is. What he said, he's gonna do what he said he's gonna do. Yeah. Put seek ye mm -hmm. first the kingdom of God, all oh, this is righteousness, and nothing will be held from you. Amen. Amen. Okay, so what what would the readers get out of reading this book? So I really want them to know um, mm -hmm. the benefits. Mm -hmm. There, there's benefits. Um, there's an inheritance that mm -hmm. comes with um, following the will of God. Mm -hmm. um, we all know, like if somebody passes away. There's a will, right? Mm -hmm. And how do you know that will? By reading what's in there. Mm -hmm. And so the benefits of reading this is just a reminder that there is a benefit in following the perfect will of God. Mm -hmm. And that um, a lot of times we're searching and we're trying to do it on our own. But I want us to remember that God, the creator, right. has right. a perfect will for us and that right. we don't have to do it on our own. Right. So I really want us to remember the rewards in walking. That's why I said a partnership with the divine and walking with him and allowing him to speak to us, to talk to us and to talk through us. And so I want them to understand the benefits of that, which we were created for. Mm -hmm. We were created for relationship with him. That's it. And so because we were created for that, let's not miss out on something that is mm -hmm. ours. Mm -hmm. It's ours for the take. And I'm going to say this: it's a blessing to be able to, uh, commune with the Father. Oh, the, sure you, who is. made heaven and earth, mm -hmm. everything in it, the universe. That's a blessing because He could have mm -hmm. called us. You know, He. Everybody mm -hmm. can't say this testimony. You know yeah. what I mean? But for Him to call us and say, you know, I want to mm -hmm. commune with you. I want an intimate, intimate relationship with you. That's right. a blessing. I mean, like for Him to quicken our our eyes to save us. Mm -hmm. Actually, you reminded me of a quote that I have in the book. Mm -hmm. Um. And I actually, I think I shared it on my page. It's not, God doesn't want us just to um, 
convene. You know, he wants to have that intimate That's right. relationship That's with right. us because a lot of times we can we can convene at church mm -hmm. and we ain't got nothing, just a mm -hmm. group of people getting mm -hmm. together. But he wants to intimately converse with you, mm -hmm. and there's a difference. It's like he cares for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. And so just think about sitting on the left of the father. Mm -hmm. He wrapping you in his yes. eyes and he's telling you, this is what I, I, I command, I, I, I created you for. And then a the beautiful thing is about like what you wrote in your book, you got to be real with the father. Yeah. You know, you got to be real. Lord, I'm struggling with this. He know everything anyway. Right. But right. he just waiting for you to be mm -hmm. honest with him and say, you know, like the thought process, how right. you talk about on page 84. I'm just saying. Um, and, and, and I love how that this, the, the disciplining your thought process, because mm -hmm. I know I had some things going on and that thought process wasn't right. I mean, mm -hmm. even even now, like I'm like, Lord, OK, but, but what about this and what about that? And God is like, don't worry about what you're going to eat or drink. Yes. Lord, I care for birds. Don't you think I'm going to care for you? What will I do for you? Yes. yes. And you were saying that in the book, y'all. Mm -hmm. I love this book. Yes. I really thank do. You. I just want to say thank you. <laughs> and I ministries buy her book. Please do. Please, because girl, this will help anybody. Anybody, even if you're not a Christian, and I pray that after reading this book, you will convert to being a Christian. This can help anybody. Mm -hmm. It can. And I mean, anybody. if it's something you can do collectively, you can yeah. do it as a group. You can do it with your family. You yes. can do it. Imagine if your children know what they were created to do. Mm. How would they operate differently? Thank How would you. you have operated differently if you had a clear understanding Stand. at a young age mm. what what the father created for you to do? And so I think this is a great opportunity um, for clarification. Even if you already say, you know what, I know my purpose. It is a great time also just to get more clear because yep. God constantly He's always talking. Yes, revelation. Yep. He'll give you more revelation, more clarity, just because that's the kind of father that yep. we serve. Amen. So um and I want to share with, with you too um this book is for you because some people will feel like well um I, I don't know God I don't this I don't that but he knows you. That's right. And because he knows you he created you with the purpose. That's right. And um I pray that as you read the book your heart will start to cry, creating right. me a clean heart. That's right. Renew a right spirit. Because I know me. it did it with his mind. Yes. And yes. so in that purity, God judges our heart. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So we're the ones that sometimes hold on to those actions. Mm -hmm. We have to let those go, just mm -hmm. like the father did, because he has a mission for you to complete. That's right. And if you hold on to those things that you've done, that is just a barrier and that's an enemy trying to stop you mm -hmm. from doing what that does mm -hmm. said the Lord. Mm -hmm. So just move forward and just constantly create in me a clean heart that's god it. i'm trying to move forward in the thing that you have planned right. for and, me. and i'm gonna say this and i love how you put don't look at what nobody else is doing yeah because yes. one thing about our god he is so he's so smart mm -hmm. he is so smart yeah. he created everything right and so whatever plan he has for you is for you mm -hmm. for you you mm -hmm. might think okay well this person is doing this lord and what about me he has right. not forgotten about oh, you never he will never forget right. he, he will never, never leave you never forsake you. you that's right and even if somebody else is doing it what he has planted in you is unique mm -hmm. and how many people are in the world a lot. You know I mean? a lot. And so sometimes we get so caught up in who's doing what. Well, if we are so busy doing our father's business, then we don't have time to worry about who's doing what. Mm -hmm. And we can operate in that which God has called us to do. Now, I love how you have in the book, she has about reformation, you know, continually repeating things. Once mm -hmm. God show you, write it down. I love how you have in here reflections during your prayer regarding transformation. My thoughts on that part. But then other things that you have in as um, before you start your seven days, you talk about repeating your vows, you know, yeah. to the Lord, repeating these things. Because it's something about when we, when we, we say it out of our mouth, yeah. it, it, it likes and we keep saying it repetitiously, mm -hmm. it, it, it it hits our spirit. Yeah. There's a power in words. Mm -hmm. And if, if we remember God spoke and it was. Mm -hmm. yes. And so if we remember we're created in his image mm -hmm. and therefore we, we can do this. 
he he told us to do what he does. Mm-hmm. And so it's so important that we speak. Mm-hmm. And so that's why I, I encourage people to actually take the journey to actually speak these things out. It's not based upon how you feel. Amen. Our emotions are fickle. God is stable. Ooh, we free. say the things that God says because he is the truth. And the truth is in us. Why? Because his spirit is in us. That's right. And so the, the, that's why I'm just like, speak it out. Speak it out. Mm-hmm. Trust the Father. Mm -hmm. trust his guidance that's one i love how you said that okay so why is seven days so important to discovering your purpose as you put in the book who okay so we know that seven um if well some may not know um but seven days was how long it took god to create right Mm -hmm. to create all creation Mm -hmm. and so and also seven represents the number of completion Mm -hmm. and so actually it's so funny um you I um, almost didn't finish this book too, so another story. But um, I had the name of this book before um, we had to like submit the name of our book, pay for all that. It was just discovering your purpose, God's vision, my hands, and um, we had to do a reading of our our book. And I was God speaks to me a lot in, in the shower, and I was taking a shower that day, and um, He said seven days. Clearly, no clear as day. He said seven days, mm-hmm. and um, as I was just like, uh, God, I already <laughs> whatever. But he was like, you didn't consult me and confirm that right. we were done. Well, and I so when I um talked to the organizer that helped organize us to go through the process, and she said, well, there's an additional whatever, and I was like, this is God's book, and so whatever I got to do, he said seven days, and so um. Seven days because completion and it's that important because it won't take God long. Mm-hmm. If He can create the you whole world in girl. seven days, all you got to do is go like this and it's done. And it might not even take you the whole seven days. Let me mm-hmm. just say that. And I, I okay. read mine in the day. Okay. I was so tricked. My husband's like, Where are you at? I was up here in the office reading the book. I was like, Oh, this is good. I got to go now. I'm going to do my seven days. Yes. But this is really good. But do we really think that God cannot? Cause I, cause even I question. I said, well, God, um, how can I say that you're gonna do? You know, this is gonna happen in seven days. And He said, it's not in your power. It's in mine. And can you so, say that again? Yeah, that. It's not in your power. It's in mine. Mm-hmm. And that's why this was a partnership. And I, I say, this, you know, I'm the co-author of this. This is God's vision. He that's used right. my hands for it. That's and right. so, it yes. Yeah. And so, um, that's why seven days is significant. And also, um. I talk about the rainbow. Well, mm-hmm. I don't talk about the rainbow in there, but seven days, um, if you know, there are seven colors in the rainbow. Mm-hmm. And um, mm-hmm. those, 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 some people may or may not know that the rainbow represents the promise that God made. Right. You know that. And so um, seven, again, is significant because God is a promise keeper. Yes. And so it just wanted, it was a reminder for me too, that God is going to keep his promise. If That's you right. go into, this is a tool. Of course, you need the Bible, but this is a tool he will use and he will keep his promise. If you go in with the open heart, asking God, seeking God, saying, Seven. God, this is what I'm looking for. This is what I'm desiring. And it, it, the, the book lays out the tools. He will answer you. Mm-hmm. And so seven also represents the promise. Mm-hmm. And so and completion, completion. There's mm-hmm. so many reasons why seven, seven is throughout the Bible. Um, in other ways as well, but those are the main reasons why it's seven days. Mostly God God said it was going to be seven days and then he confirmed it with me in my spirit of why it was so important, but seven days. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. okay, so now you talk about the act, yes. prayer and daily decree, mm-hmm. and why is that so important? Yeah, so act um, in the book is stand. Act is very important because it's activation, mm-hmm. right? And so um, I, I do the book not a. I don't make the assumption that everybody um, prays or everybody knows how to pray. Uh-huh. And even if you do know how to pray, that's okay. We all can um, use some some school some some tools. And so um, the A stands for ask, the C stands for claim, and the T stands for thank. And so if you can rem- remember those, no matter when you pray. That helps you with your prayer. So what are you asking God for? And then how can you claim it with his word? Mm -hmm. His word will confirm everything. So it's not just something I'm speaking, Lord, again, going back to your promise. This is your promise that Mm -hmm. you made. So I'm going to claim it with your word. And then 
thanked again. I'm That's right. thanking Thank you. you. I'm declaring that it's already done. Hallelujah. Like you said, I'm not going to worry about what the, what I eat. Like the birds don't have to worry yep. about it. I don't have to either. Why? Because I'm claiming it with my word. Okay. I already, I put it out there. That's I right. asked. I'm claiming it. Now I'm thanking you for it. That's right. And so it's so important that we activate. So faith is all about activation. And so I want to bring tools for activation. Mm -hmm. So we, we're not just thinking it anymore. We're moving it from the thought process to the declaration because process. Because faith without works is dead. Yes. You can think it all you want, but if you don't activate it and move it, it's not yes. going to not gonna work. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yes. I yes. love that. And I love how you say, write it down, make it plain. Mm -hmm. In this book, Every excuse me, every day that she has different things that she wants to help you with, you you write it down. You go back and revisit. That's what I love about that. Mm -hmm. Love about the book with testimonies from Miss um, Brandy Ibria. She did a wonderful testimony. What's mm -hmm. her um uh, Jurgen? Uh, what's her name? Jolanda. Jolanda. Um, yes, she did it. Um, did a wonderful testimony. Other influencer people that was in here. They also gave testimonies. This book does really work. Yes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now you say in day one social influence, and why is that so important to understand and recognize how that can hinder a person? Come on. Yeah. So um, we all know about um social influences, mm -hmm. and I think I actually um I want to read a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, here I'm not gonna read much, but I wanted to read something from here about social influences, and so um the Bible says um in Galatians one and ten. Am I trying to win the favor and approval of man or God? Am I seeking to please someone? If I'm still trying to be popular with man, I would not be a bond servant of Christ. So mm. social influences it. We have to ask ourselves, what am I trying to do? Am I trying to be popular with man or am I really sold out for Christ? Mm -hmm. And so choosing love over fear. And what does fear, what does fear do? Fear makes us say, I care about what they think. Mm -hmm. Fear makes us say, well, faith looks crazy. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do what the normal people do. Mm -hmm. Fear says, oh, I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. Fear says, oh, I'm God. not qualified. Fear says, why me? Ooh, but when I choose love, because I choose Christ, that means I'm a bond servant to God. That means that what he says I will do, where he says I go, where I, he says I should go, I will go. And so we cannot allow the social influences to impact us because why? We have a purpose. And God gave us his purpose. What does that mean? Everybody might not understand. That's it. Because I'm going to tell you something. Girl, you know you preaching here. Y'all, she'll look preaching to make it. I'm just saying. You know, when I was doing, when God told my daughter and I to do these seminars, mm -hmm. now we, I've been doing them for the last three, four years and mm -hmm. was making, you know, a lot of money or whatever. And when this year God said, I need you to do it free. Mm. Did y'all hear me? I was saying, huh? What you mean? I, I mean, for real, I ain't lying. I was like, what you mean, God? And he was yeah. like, it ain't about you. It's right. about me. Somebody needs to hear what I'm trying to help them walk into their purpose. Yes. So we just I'm elaborating on what you said in this book. Oh, the influence. Like I told you I was reading this book. Y'all think I'm not lying. Y'all think I'm playing. I was really reading things that was hitting my spirit. Mm -hmm. And I was like, God was like, it's not about you. You cannot look at what other people are doing, them mm -hmm. influencers. You cannot look, well, I wouldn't be doing that, girl. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I wouldn't be doing no, no, it ain't about them. It's mm -hmm. about what I told you to do. So yeah. I love how you put that in the book. Mm -hmm. Be careful about your influencers. I, yeah. That was right on point. Do you mm -hmm. hear what I'm saying? That was right on point, y'all. So get we're gonna we're gonna bless y'all with this book. Okay. <clears throat> um the another thing I love how you said in the book, Dear God of hosts, renew my heart and mind to its original intent. Mm. Elaborate on that, yeah. Louis. And so, um, basically, I'm just talking about um, Jeremiah 29 and 11. Mm -hmm. When God designed us, He designed us with a plan, yes. right? He had an expected end. Mm -hmm. And so, what ends up happening is our social influences, mm -hmm. and not only that, our own voice. Yes, you know, sometimes impacts 
where God is shaping and moving us. And so my prayer, and, and I pray it's your prayer too, Lord, what, what take me back to the original design? Come on, what now. was your original intent for me? Yes, Anything that is not like you, Lord, take yes. it out of me. Any any voice that I'm listening to that does not yes. line up to your word, I reject it. In we have to reject Jesus. rejection. That's it. You know, anything that does not line up, I'm rejecting it right now. Anything that rejects my purpose, Woo. I'm rejecting it. I, I don't care. And so, and that includes the voice in my head that says, I can't, mm -hmm. when God says, I can't. Come on. Now. And so, Lord, take me back to the original tent. Take me back to the garden, Father God, Lord. Hallelujah. The garden of your heart, Father yes. God, Lord. Lord, you know what you have for me. You know what you have for your people, Father yes. God, Lord. And I just pray, Father Thank God, Lord, you. that you take them back, Father God, Lord, to that which you have designed them for, Father God, Lord. Because yes, you designed them for greater, Father yes, God, Lord, Lord in the name of Jesus. Name and so, yeah, what I mean, just take us back, Ooh. Father God, Lord. Wrap us back in your arms, yes. Father God, Lord, where we're saying, yes, here I am, Father God, yes. Lord. Send me. I'll go, Father yes. God, Lord. I'll go. I'll do it, Father God, Lord. Yes. And give us that holy boldness to go and yes. do it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Devil, girl, look, we about to have church up here. That's because you know what? Sometimes we need to hear that. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we need that spark yeah. to spark us back. Mm -hmm. You know, take us back when we first, when Jesus first came into Ooh. our heart. And we were just so like, Lord, I go. Sometimes we, we've been saved so long or doing so things so long that we forget mm -hmm. that God is still our Father. He's Ooh, still sitting on the yeah. throne. He said, I am that I am. I'm still mm -hmm. performing miracles. I yeah. still I change you, life. Father. So I thank I thank you for yes. that that in the book how you said take us back. Mm -hmm. Let us give us a reminder. Yes. We need that. I thank you for that. Oh girl, thank you for letting God use you again. I can't stress that enough. Okay, you talk about in day two. Um it um authenticity. Mm -hmm. uh, please explain. Yeah, I want to read just a small thing Go ahead. that too. And so um, you know, I gotta highlight it again. Yes, and so um in in here and in my I um put suggested songs with it and in yes. this one I I suggested the song Change Me Oh God. Tamla Man. And um when you think about that song, make me more like you, mm -hmm. Lord. I want to be authentic. Yes. And when we think about our authenticity, we think about who is God. Because yes. when we understand who is God, we accept who we are. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times we are not operating in our authentic self because we have rejected ourselves because we have rejected who the Father is. Mm -hmm. And so when we understand and we, we accept all who he is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we can no longer reject us mm -hmm. because we know he loves us mm -hmm. and he created us with love. He created us out of love. And so if he created us out of love, all I can do is be authentically me. And if you don't accept that, that's okay. I love you from a distance. I love you up close. I love you, but I need to, but I have to operate That's and it. move forward. That's it. And um, I put in here, how can I authentically yes. um, be me when I don't love me and I don't love what I see? Mm -hmm. How can I operate in my purpose comfortably if I have not embraced who I am? And so again, this book is about being and operating in your purpose. And so in order to do that, we have to be authentic to who mm -hmm. we are. And again, that goes back to a father, right? Mm -hmm. And loving him. And in loving him, we love ourselves. That's right. And yeah. so, of course, it goes into more, but right. I just kind of want to really yeah, stress that. Because that. mm -hmm. that's real. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, a lot of times we set, we battle with low self-esteem. We, you know, society say you have to yeah. look a certain way. Mm -hmm. You got to be a certain size in order for you to be successful. You have yeah. to do this and do that. But like you said, Lord, take us back to our authenticity. Mm -hmm. what, what, Lord, you... What do you see in us? Because right. remember this, God, every good thing comes from above. God yes. does not make no mistakes. Right. James, no. James 1, that's actually James 1 and 17. Every good and perfect good Come. gift is from above. Love. Amen. Coming down from the Father. Mm -hmm. So guess what? You're good. Amen. You are you are his perfect gift. You are the vision manifested. That's right. Woo! Think about that. Mm -hmm. He had a vision and then you was manifested. Mm -hmm. That is powerful. And my, so we have to walk in that. That's right. That's right. I have my, my one of my CDs that came out is called My First Love. Mm. And it talks about before the foundation of the world, you knew me. 
Mm, you knew me. Beautiful, yeah. So before the foundation of the world, God knew you. Mm -hmm. He knew that he, he had a purpose for you. So don't let nobody ever tell you that you're not, not wanted, you don't mean nothing. Mm -hmm. And if you are feeling a certain type of way, yeah. I encourage you to get this book. Mm -hmm. I would encourage you to get, I dare you to get this book. <laughs> I dare you get this book for real. It's going to change. It'll give you a whole new perspective. And it's going to give you an intimacy with God that you never had before. Am I talking right? Yeah. Amen. Yeah. All right. I, you know, I, I just love talking about this book. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, girl, it, 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 hello, it help the brain cells up here. Help the brain cells. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So how can you, um, how can a, a person understand their worth as you talk about in the book? Helping them to understand it. Yes. And so really it's, again, it, it all goes back to understanding who we are in God. Mm -hmm. And so our worth is not based on our works. Ooh. And so if we understand mm -hmm. that our work mm -hmm. is not based on our work, mm -hmm. but it's based on who God is. And so my worthiness, I, I was worthy before I was even born. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so it's just really accepting that. And make it our goal. And that's why it's so important for the intimacy. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so important to get in his face, sit at his sit at his feet so that he can pour into us who we are. And I'm going to say this. It's nothing better. I don't care what's going on. But when I'm in the presence of the Lord and I'm, mm -hmm. I'm in my secret place, yeah, it's like I don't care if the world was out here blowing up. It's like God totally wraps you in his arm. He totally communes with you. He talks to you. You can lay your burdens, your cares down with him. Am I talking right? It's that peace. It's that, I, it's that past, past is all I understand. I'm trying yeah. to tell you. I yeah. could I could have had a, a, a disagreement with my husband or whatever the situation may be. I go into my, my secret place, my room, and I put that praise and worship music on, be prostrate on the on the floor, and me and God yeah. just be commun girl. Do you hear what I'm saying? I, it's yeah. like I, it's like he wraps us like this. I'm, I'm not joking. Am I talking yes, right? Have you experienced that? Oh, yes. And then you you speak in your other language, mm -hmm. you know, and you don't even know what you're saying because I know a lot. I don't know what I be saying, but I know he likes it, and we talk, and it's just I can't begin to tell you how that feels. Try it and see, y'all. Yeah. I'm telling you, with the intimacy that you're talking about, that yeah. he wants us to have. Yeah. Him. Mm -hmm. He really wants because my thing is, how can you get to know something if you don't talk to him? Right. Talk to a person. If I don't get to talk to you and commune with you, I never know who you are. Right? right? Amen. Amen. So okay. So okay. So um, my next question: How did you come up with the, the different people who gave us encouraging words? How did so, that come about? Yeah, there's three people um, in the book that share because the book has um, three pillars. Mm -hmm. And so at the end of each pillar, I have someone share testimony. And so because um, there's power in our testimonies. Mm -hmm. And so as um, as individuals, we going through the steps and, and doing the different activations and mm -hmm. the prayer. I want them to be encouraged right. that what happened for them can happen for you too and so there's so much power in the sharing of our words again it's so much power in what we speak out mm -hmm. and if, if you read psalms david always reminds himself of the goodness of god why mm -hmm. because we need to remember sometimes especially yep. when we're going through or when we're in the yes. midst of it we have to be reminded and it's so important that we see that God is still in the business of blessing. He is still a promise keeper. Yes, he and is. so that's the whole purpose that um, people will see the evidence, the fruit, the harvest. And then they will hear like, it wasn't always this way, but guess what? The harvest will come. Mm -hmm. Keep pushing. Preach. Keep trusting come on now, preach girl. So, yes, yeah, so that's, that's, that's really what it's about, the, the testimony. Because in the end, what I want, what I want this to do is to be a, a movement of people mm -hmm. sharing their their um, destiny walk. Oh, I think it is. <laughs> and, and sharing I mean. their testimony because, again, what they share will um, light the fire under somebody else. Mm -hmm. And so then they're going to say, you know what? I can go on. I can move on, mm -hmm. too. And sometimes it's not about us always knowing 
that what I said touched somebody else. Mm -hmm. I'm here about my father's business. And if he tells me to do this and share this, that's what I'm going to do. And you know what? And that's why it's so important to be obedient. If I can say obedient is better than sacrifice Mm -hmm. because you don't know who life that you are transforming Mm -hmm. or touching by being obedient. Right. Like you didn't ever know that me getting this book, I was going to be this transformed. Mm -hmm. I mean, just discipline in our mind for me because I'm a thinker. I think Mm -hmm. too much. And so I had that. That's why you were a doctor. Oh, amen, amen, amen. Amen. But you know, it was a lot, it was a lot of work though. I, I give all God the glory because yeah. I can't I can't even get it twisted. I will mm-hmm. never get it twisted. Because in that struggle, mm-hmm. you, you know, going through that and then God delivered me from weed smoking, which I testimony mm-hmm. I testified on how he gave me a a, 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 a a second chance. He gave me a, a renewed my relationship. He allowed me to renew my relationship with him mm-hmm. when he could have took me out. Yes. Do you hear me? He could have yes. took me out in my mess, but because he loved me and he has a purpose and a plan for my life, and because he loved me so, he said, I'm going to give you a book to help discipline your mind. Yes. And that's what Sister Lanise came in at, being obedient to the Father, where it's helping me keep my mind disciplined, stand, and as I said, I testified today, stand in, 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 um, in, in the Word. I have to saturate myself about the Word of God. I mean, they, ask my daughter, she tell you, every day, all day, we hear praises of the Lord. Right. I cannot get around nobody stinking, 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 thinking folks. I'm talking about me. I cannot. Because he's dealing with my mind. He, he He's renewing this mind. I have to stay on the promises of God. I have to stay in books like this mm-hmm. that's going to help me elevate and, and, and talk to the Father. I have to. Yeah. I can't get into those self-righteous books. Well, you can do all things by yourself. No, I got to get into the, the Christ. I can do all things through Christ. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. So that's Amen. where I'm at. And yeah. so when you said about the influence, we mm-hmm. have to, you know, if you want to know your purpose and walk circumspectly and walk the way God has. You have to get in books like this. You have to surround yourself with people like yourself, like-minded folks, real talk. I'm, I'm speaking facts. And I have to say, I can't, me, I can't get it twisted. God told me you, you in a season that you have to stay. I have to listen to the spirit, yeah. the word, uh, praise and worship, and listen to when I find myself getting down. I put on mm-hmm. T.D. James, Bishop Daryl Hines. Um, mm-hmm. A Karen Clark Shear, mm-hmm. uh, you know, uh, Dr. Juanita Bond. I, mm-hmm. I have to set her. I'm like this, Lord, what you want me to do? Yeah. I have to. I'm saying where I'm at. Yeah. So God using you, sister. You better hear me. This book will go all over the world because it's God ordained. You let God, you, you let him pour into you and you was like this and you was like this. That's how you was. You ain't got to tell me. That's how I was. He was like this, and he was speaking you through the shower. While you was getting clean, he was speaking. He said, I need you to go to that computer. Okay, God. That's how you was. Everything in this book is ordained by God. It, y'all, when I was reading yesterday, I was getting chills, getting chills. And he said, I want you to get that mind. Get that mind. That's what, and, I, and I got it all highlighted. I was like, okay, Lord. I'm going to start writing down. Okay. Okay, God, I got to keep knowing my mind because the enemy, that's where he attacks me yeah. in that mind because I think all the time, mm-hmm. you know, and it, oh, it don't look like this, Lord, but you see, yeah. but you said, because he's watching over that word to perform. He watching it. God watching over that word. Yeah. That's why I couldn't understand why you said free, Lord, but God said it ain't about you. Mm-hmm. Like when you said, Lord, I said, I wanted to do this. And he said, no, I said it's seven days. Yeah. And it was saying. Mm-hmm. So we we in the same spirit. That's why I love you because you really hear from God and that's helping me. You know, in the same sense, that's helping me. Okay, Shauna, your labor is not in vain. Your you you keep moving forward is not in vain. And I know if I'm if it's helping me, I know her book is helping somebody else. As you guys are watching, we want you know she didn't do this book in vain. It's God told her to write this book to help you understand your purpose before God come back. Amen. Amen. I'm oh, sorry, any good. So, Lanise, are you getting full yet? Are you? Well, yeah, I think we're going to go to a commercial break and we'll be right back. I just got to turn this air conditioner on real quick. I'm just saying. So, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> commercial break. Amen. <laughs>
Hello and welcome back to the Walking in Your Destiny Gospel Radio Show with your host, Dr. Shana Whitehead Stars, and with my special guest author, um, Miss Lanise McGee. And so we're talking about her book, Seven Days, um, Seven Day Journey to Discovering Your Purpose. Um, this is an awesome book, you all, that you will love, you that you should get. Um, we're also going to be giving away um, two copies to our listening audience, our viewers, um, because I, we just want to the Walking in Your Destiny got some radio show. Want to bless you on today. We believe every believer needs this book. Every person that wants to know and tap into their true purpose needs to get this book. Amen. 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 But before we went on break, while me and Lenise was on break, I was telling her a little bit about this testimony. So let me just finish this last part. So in doing that, Lenise, um, the Lord said what he was he told me. He said, I'm gonna kill you if you don't change. Because one thing about it, God, once he pours into you, he got coming back for his investment. Amen. Mm -hmm. Just like this book, when you talk about knowing your purpose. Once God mm -hmm. shows you your purpose and he puts so much in you. You have to do what he tells you to do. Yeah. You're not going to have no peace, no rest because he mm -hmm. put so much in you. And so because of that, he gave me a second chance to repent. Mm -hmm. I, I just want you to hear what I'm yeah. saying. He gave me a second chance to repent, to get it right. And when he when I did that instantly, he took it from me. He took, when I say God is a deliverer, he is a deliverer. He took it from me. He gave me a heart, a different heart. Mm -hmm. He gave me his spirit back. Yeah. The spirit of love. Because sometimes we can say we say and I think we, we think we operating in a way mm -hmm. and we really not mm -hmm. in God's way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so he gave me his love back. by the lips but not by, by heart. Thank you. By heart. That heart. He knew my heart and yeah. he gave me that back and because of that I've been communing with him every day. When I tell you I have no more ailments in my legs, my ankles. Do you hear what I'm saying? My daughter can testify. I, there was I was sitting there aching, none of that. He cleaned me up. So when I tell you that some things that are caused that we take and put in our bodies has spirits to it, mm -hmm. believe me on that. It has spirits to it. And so I thank God for him allowing me to be able to recognize my purpose. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So that's why you hear me talking about this book, not giving glory to the book, but giving glory to God yes. because of I don't have a second chance to understand my purpose. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to wait too late that you don't get a chance to ever understand or fulfill your purpose. And it's not too late. And those that might be listening and you feel like, well, I'm over this amount of age. It doesn't matter if you still have breath in your lungs. Free. God still has a purpose for you. And we're the one who delay it, but God has yeah. not denied it. Yeah. He said it's still time. And if you're young, don't think that you're too young. You can start now. That's right. You know, so it is for you. It's for you to hear this. It's for you to use a tool. It's for you to connect to him. And that's yeah. that's the bottom line. That's it. That's, that's it. the bottom line. So. And you don't want to, like you said, you don't want to wait too late. Because just mm -hmm. imagine if you... Even if it's 10 or 11 or 12 and you start asking God your purpose, boy, you yes. you exceed a lot of uh, headaches. You wouldn't have to go through some of the headaches that I'm going to say myself had to go through mm -hmm. just by because you're tuning into the father. Mm -hmm. That's what, what Bridget said. That's good. <laughs> she said, that's good. Amen. Bridget, Bridget knows what she wants this book. <laughs> Bridget wants this book. Don't get ready. <laughs> She's also an awesome writer too as well. Yes, she is. I love her. That's my friend. And then yeah. her husband know he can cook. When you cooking again? I'm I always love Bridget too. She's a BBB bottom. Yeah, I, I know. And I know she's an author. She's she's amazing. Yeah, and, and, and girl, you hear her sing. We used to be in the same uh, group. The girl can yes. sing. Multi-talented. Yes. yes, she's on the BBB. Mm -hmm. Yes, I yes, I love these. Yes, yes, I do too. And her husband, he can yes. cook. I told him I now they. Did you get by the last dinner today? No. Girl. No, the baby can cook now. She got the little strawberries. Oh, yeah. That's what she was telling me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told her I can't wait to that restaurant. They got one customer right here. All I believe right. in supporting our own. <laughs> Milwaukee's own, I believe, and supporting our own. Because we have some very beautiful, talented people here in mm -hmm. our state. We do. We really do. And girl, listen here. Why need a bottom? Because you know why this bottom inbox me. Why need a bottom? I have to send you this book, honey. Because uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, so um, why is it so important to have a true confession to living um to true confession to um living in God? 
into just really understanding yes. that. Um, so I really think that it's important that we have that partnership with the divine. And um, again, even in writing this, I mm-hmm. said I co-author. And so because we want to acknowledge that it's not us. That's right. Because when we do it in our own strength mm-hmm. and we do it in our own might, then we we already setting ourselves up mm-hmm. for if you know whatever failure happens mm-hmm. or whatever doesn't go right, it's because I operated it out of my own strength. Mm-hmm. But when um even like doing this book when my um when my strength was gone, I just remember um and now I'm not a singer, but you are. Remember that song? Um, I almost let go. Let go. Yes. Yes. I felt like I just couldn't take it anymore. Yes. But that's when he said, This book almost had me down, but God kept me close. So I couldn't let go. No. Yes. Oh, God <laughs> kept me. Yes. So I wouldn't let it go. And that's what he will do in your purpose. Yes. When it's his purpose. Yes. He will hold you close. Yep. Because it's Lord, what is not in your strength. It's you in his. Preach, girl. You know, and so that's what I rely on. And then what do I go back? I go back to his promise. God, you said. This is what you said. I can't do it anymore. I don't even have the knowledge, Father God, Lord. Give me your wisdom, Father God, Lord. Give me the connections, Father God, Lord. I know that I heard your voice, Father God, Lord. Why? Because I commune with you, Father God, Lord. And because you said it, I believe it, and I'm going to stand on it. And because that's why it's a partnership, Father God, Lord. You are the lead of the partnership, Father God, Lord. And I'm following your lead, and that's when we can stand on it, Father. We can stand on his lead. We can stand on what he said. And then we operate in that way. And so we know that we are destined for it. Why? Because the word says the enemy comes to steal, kill, kill, and destroy. So all these things are stacking up against you. Why? Why would they stack up against you if God didn't have a plan for you? You know what? I'm going to say this, honey. You is talking right. And even, even just not even your book in your business. Everybody yes. waiting on these PPL loans, including myself. Well, I got two of them, but I'm just having to find them up. But I'm just saying, and even though when it looks like if your back is up against the wall, you got to continue to stand. Yes. When your, like you said, your shrimp was gone. Yes. You was ready to give up. Mm-hmm. But that's when your when your shrimp is gone, that's when God mm-hmm. is raising your yes. hand. Like, he got you. He telling you, I got you. Hallelujah. Ooh, and he will send you reminders. I yes. remember when I'm um, through this book process, and you're right, this this applies in life. That's why you're, it's so important attaching to God because it's not just about your purpose, it's about your life. Ooh. When you're ready to give, he will give you those reminders. Yes. When I, I was driving um, and I had decided that I wasn't going to do this anymore, I was like, I'm done with this book. <laughs> I just can't do it no more. And I was, I had got home and I was looking for something. Mm-hmm. And I had this bag um, in my closet. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking, I'm pulling, I don't even remember what I was looking for, mm-hmm. but I'm pulling through the bag and I find a small little journal. It was about this big because mm-hmm. I'm a writer. So I write notes on everything, everywhere. And so I pulled this journal out and I had the date on there and it was from three years prior. Oh, wow. And in the journal, it was, um, I have wrote, I want to have an intimate um, experience with you, Lord. And I write down everything that God told me to do. Mm -hmm. And when I tell you, I had got goosebumps because it was a, it was stuff he, he told me to write in the book. So that I didn't even remember about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, I ordained this book. Go. And it was it was what I needed because mm-hmm. in my strength I had given up. Mm-hmm. I was just like, I'm not gonna because I had so much of the stuff going on, you know, with, with work and everything else, COVID and all this. And I was like, I don't even have the strength because this was a 90-day process and all that other kind of stuff. I said, I can't finish it. And he reminded me, this is a partnership mm-hmm. with me. I ordained this, and because I ordained this, 
I, in my strength, you can. That's right. And you and gotta so, get it and, done. And he will. That's that's the kind of God we serve. He will send you those reminders. Mm-hmm. He will give you those signs. He will embrace you with his love. Mm-hmm. And so I just praise God for that. And I'm praying that whatever people need that is listening to this, whatever reminder you need, that God will send His yes. Holy Spirit. Father God will. He will use a person. Thank he will you, use Jesus. a sign, and He will remind you to move forward. Thank Why? You, because it is the call on your life, and Thank you are dead. For more, and again, your purpose is not just for you, it's for kingdom. That's how we know we are operating in what He has called us to do. Right. Even in work, it could be work, it could be business, it's not just about you, it's bigger than this kingdom. Mm-hmm. That's it. Well, Lanice, you have given us uh, I'm, 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 I'm speechless, y'all. He's in, uh, you have given us a mouthful. I, I'm serious. You have given us a mouthful. Um, look, Woody Bridges say yes. Y'all, just remember that, first of all, I want to give away the book. Mm-hmm. So the person I'm going to give it to is my Bridget, because she showed up in comment. So Bridget, um, get, um, inbox me your address, sweetheart, so that way we can send you the book, because you're going to love it. Um, behave, son, behave. Ooh, behave, son. <laughs> um, um, those are great, y'all. Um, and then if we want to bless somebody else with the book, you can give us a call at 414-255-1529, or you can inbox us, um, say you want a copy of the book, and we will send it to you, um, or you can come up to the studio here, uh, walk into your Destiny Studios, 4429 West Final Life Avenue, and pick it up, but we want to bless you, I want to be obedient to what the Lord has said, um, and again, Lelise, I know we can go on and on, go ahead, I'm going to let you talk. We can go on and out on, but I know time is going to be mm-hmm. is winding down. So Louise has a lot of other things that she's doing that she wants to share. Mm-hmm. And then I want you to tell us also how can we get your book mm-hmm. for those who are listening. And um, go ahead. Well, I just wanted to share that um, through the Author Lab, there are 12 total um, women who completed their book. And we're doing our book lounge um, on this Saturday. So it's it's amazing. So you can look on Eventbrite, and if you just search um, Author Lab book release, you'll be able to register. It's going to be an online, a virtual um, book launch celebration, and you're going to be able to see our video releases there. And also, there's going to be prizes up to five thousand dollars. And so, and then those that are there's some people here that they know God has placed a book in them, and maybe they want to go through the author lab to kind of help them with the process to make sure you can, you can get your book done in 90 days okay you can do it and so that's going to be saturday that's just saturday um june 27 2020 i'll send you the link maybe you can share oh, it on yeah, the page yeah, for people. Send it to and so just i just really want to share that and um we'll be sharing our books reading a little bit from our books um during that time and there's some amazing women um, and their books are amazing as well. So, um, and there's there's been nothing like really like a collaborative like this, even though they're all individual books. That's beautiful. And though. so, we help us one to um, another. It needs so, to be like that. Yeah, and so it's it's just it's great. I'm really excited about it, and I'm really excited for all the women that are a part of this. So, wanted to invite everybody to join us on Saturday if you are available. Because it's going to be a great time. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. And y'all, let's support Milwaukee's own mm-hmm. and all the great women mm-hmm. who God is um, opening up door for to, to, to let their books get out here. Mm-hmm. Let's make them some, a number one seller because we, we, we have the potential in Milwaukee yes, to do so. Um, and again, I'm so proud of you, Louise. Thank you for taking the time out to, you know, come on the show and 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 and, and talk about what you're doing. And I love, girl, you know, you're a family of the show. Um, and 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 I just love how God is just enlarging your territory. And thank you for continue to listen to His voice and be obedient because it's helping us. I, I'm serious, and we're never too old to learn and to do and, and to better ourselves in the Lord because He's always moving forward. And so. Yeah. Again, can you tell us how we can get your book? Yes, definitely. Um, if you're interested in the book, Seven Day Journey, um, you can visit my website at www.lanisemcgee.com. So that's just my name. So lanisemcgee.com. 
All righty. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So before we leave out, um, we will be sending um, Bridget. Don't forget to inbox me, sweet, sweetie food. And um, I never close out without um, doing an altar call. I just don't um, know. Um, I just never just assume people don't. Everybody know Christ because he's somebody to know. Amen. So if you want to um, don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, or if you want to rededicate your life back to Christ, you can do so by um, coming on in with me and, and having a, a sincere heart for saying these words. Dear Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. I acknowledge that I'm a sinner. And Lord, I ask that you will come into my heart. I ask that you will come into my heart. Be the head and ruler of my life. Be the head and ruler. Life. Lord, teach me how to live for you. Lord, teach me how to live for you. Teach me how to understand my purpose. Teach me how to understand my purpose. And Lord, I thank you for coming into my heart. Lord, I thank you for coming into my heart. In Jesus' name, we Jesus pray. Name we pray. Amen. Amen. And if you did this, we welcome you into yes. the family of God. Hallelujah. Yes. Y'all, the angels in heaven is, is rejoicing. Yes, they so are. I want you to get to a Bible believing church that's going to help you grow. Right now, a lot of churches are um, shut down, you know, closed due to the. Um, the, the COVID-19, but it's a lot of virtual churches on Facebook and internet, Instagram, all that. Get to one. It's God is leading to you to, to watch their ministry. And then when you go, watch their ministry. And, and God has said, become a member. I want you to sow into that ministry. Mm -hmm. Sow good ground so we can keep ministry going forth. Amen. Because yeah. God is always moving. All righty. So you guys, I want to thank my sister, thank you so your much. friend now, but she's my friend, she's your girlfriend too, for being on the show. Thank you so <laughs> much, sister. You. I can't wait to see what God is going to do with the other books that's coming out in you because mm -hmm. more books in her and all the other ladies. And if you can, make sure you guys support them on Saturday. Uh, we will put the link up um, in um, the Walking in Your Destiny Gospel Radio Show page. Like us. Share the video. Also like us on Instagram um, because we want the radio. We, well, there I go. Hit it again. We want the radio show to get on out here and grow so people can see this wonderful broadcast. All right. So, y'all, I love you with the love of the Lord. Be blessed. And remember to get the book. God bless you all. God bless you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>